get started, have a recorder. <laughs> so we can get started. It's okay, man. Yeah. Oh, got a camera too. Yeah, right. yeah, it's a tiny little one. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, tell me how this project, uh, well, to say how it came to your attention is kind of silly. How it came to you being the creative mind behind it? You know, um, just actually the way a lot of the work that I do comes to me, um, I, it was brought to my attention by Lance Samuels, who uh, was the president of Blue Ice Pictures and one of the executive producers of it. And uh, my agents told me that he was in town and that he wanted to meet me uh, about this miniseries. And I said, okay. We sat down, we meet, we met rather, we hit it off uh, right away. And uh, he told me that he wanted to do this six hour miniseries. And I said, wow, that's pretty incredible. And I read it and I was really impressed with, with the work that they had done. And, and I was really excited to get involved because I, it was an opportunity to sort of peel the onion a little Indeed. bit on uh, Mr. Mandela and, and hopefully find some things, um, some relationships and some, some personality things that people may not know. Some I think, conflict, yeah. Yeah, I think that we, of course, are aware of you know his story and we've seen it uh, wonderfully portrayed by a number of, of different actors and filmmakers, but this is a different forum and uh, for a different audience, and I Indeed. thought that that was something that was uh, that was important. Oftentimes, many of our favorite heroes, especially heroes from a revolutionary standpoint, uh, when they get old, we sort of uh, martyr them, we make them, uh, we, we homogenize them a bit. Um, what can you do in a six-hour miniseries that may not you may not have been able to do in a two-hour film in order to? Again, as you said, uh, peel back those layers and see all the. Well, I mean, I think you hit you hit it right on the nose that that you know some of the feature films, you know, in fact, all of them, you know, have been uh, restricted in terms of you know the amount of time that an audience will sit and watch it because they've been made for for the movie theater, mm -hmm. um, and so what happens is that the story gets reduced to certain highlights mm -hmm. during his life, and I think. What we offer and what we what we really strove to do was to find those moments between those big events Indeed. and and really explore what was driving him during the complete process Indeed. Um, and 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 really explore the relationships that he had with so many of his comrades that whose stories have not been told. Indeed. Um, and so. Yeah, I, I think that that was really important to us, and I think that's what uh, you'll see in the six hours that some of the other films, as wonderful as they were, uh, were not able to do, quite frankly. And uh, last question, what was it like working uh, with Mr. Fishburne? Well, he and I have known each other since we were teenagers, and uh, we've actually worked together before. We did, uh, about 20 years ago, we did a, a picture for MGM called Fled, uh, and so we've been friends for years and years. I always enjoy working with him. Uh, He's just a consummate professional, and he is such a meticulous artist. Um, you know, he's one of those people that, when I found out that he was going to do it, I, I took a big, a deep breath, uh, a sigh of relief, because I knew that he was going to come into it, and I knew what he could bring to that role, and I was not disappointed at all. He's, uh, he's magnificent. He just really is. It's, it's, he's a marvel, and I, I love him dearly, and I, I'm just... Thankful and, and, and you know, uh, very fortunate to have had him. Incredible. Uh, I'm going to pass you off to this gentleman okay. here again. Thank you very much. Sir.